Hello everybody and welcome back to Nervous Reviews. Today we're doing a, a year in uh, and a uh, uh, happy 2023 is what I'm trying to say. I have several things to talk about that I want to go through in this video. If you don't care at all, happy new year. Enjoy your day. But for those who want to learn a little bit more, I, I have a couple of subjects that I want to touch on, a couple of questions I want to ask you, and a couple of details that you might want to know going into the future. The first thing is this video. I'm making a history of the gentlemen bastards. Um, and it seems to have cut, caught a bit of a snag because Scott Lynch is currently releasing a, a significant amount of details and it seems like he's implying that the release date is going to be announced soon. And if that does happen, I'm going to have to retool this video. It's going to take quite a bit longer than I expected. I was trying to get this out before January 14th. That was my goal. But it seems like that might not entirely happen. The second thing I wanted to talk about is my style going forward. I've experimented with style quite a bit this year. Uh, I've done a lot of stuff, especially maybe even going into last year. Uh, I remember specifically Billy Summers was one that I was really, really interested in, one I was really proud of. And every time I do a new Stephen King book, I, I try to experiment with the style just a little bit. But no matter what it is, I always kind of result back to going to the straightforward, just sitting here, a couple of images on screen, just talking about my review. And I wanted to know, what did you guys think of that? So I'm trying to do different things, but it's not easy to get feedback on these specific items. Like if, if I get certain likes on a video, I don't know what that means. Does that mean that you agree with me or does that mean that you like the video or does that mean that you like that I reviewed this or I have no idea. So any comments would be appreciated. And then the third thing, on the same vein of style, I've received a MacBook as my new computer. Previously, I edited on, on a, a free software. Actually, this one right here, I've edited on this software. And I've been editing this, uh, the, the new Scott Lynch video on this software because it's it, the other software for Mac, which is called uh, Final Cut Pro, is so complicated. It's very, very difficult to understand. But I think that it's important that I invest time into that. So I will be making like, the, the quality of my videos will probably go down for a while and then receive back up. Uh, but for now, I'm just using this because I kind of need to get videos out quite quickly. Quickly, I should not be using that word. It's been like two months since my last review. And obviously, there's reasons that I haven't been publishing so quickly. Um, and it's not this, even though you might think it is. This didn't take that much time. The issue is something that you've probably already heard a million times before from a million other people, so I won't bother repeating it here. But suffice it to say, going forward, I'm hoping to hurry up my speed a little bit because I, I'm going to be stepping out of the thing that caused me to have not, not much time for doing videos and stepping into something else that hopefully it might, it might cause me to have more time to do videos. I'm hoping that's the case, but it might also take up that time and I'm hoping to sort that out. At the moment, I do have like four or five different videos that just need to be edited, which is like two hours of work. Um, that I can, I can probably get those out for the first two months of 2023, but we'll see about that. Another issue has been the audio. I'm not sure how the audio is in this room. I assume it's not great. I've done most of my videos from one room, which is upstairs. And I often have not been able to get to this certain room. And so because of that, the, the audio quality of many of my materials suffered. Um, and the, many of the things that I'm editing, I'm trying to fix the audio on them and then trying to fix the video on them because it's, it's, it's just very, very odd. It looks very weird. It doesn't look right. The colors don't look right. It looks overexposed. The, there's some background humming. I need to fix all these things. And it's been incredibly infuriating to like try to find a place that didn't have echo, that had decent lighting, that allowed me to film a video. And then even when I did that, my, I was out of practice and then I, I wasn't able to get that same spot again to redo the video because I didn't do it right. So these are like secondary reasons. Why did I mention all of that? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's fun sometimes to talk about the struggle of creation to the people that you're creating for. The previous year was, uh, I, I wouldn't, I, I'm not entirely sure if I would call it a success, but I would say in terms of my reading, it was a success because I discovered audiobooks really, like I really discovered audiobooks. And what I mean by that is I discovered library audiobooks. I did not know library had audiobooks. And that means that I've been reading so many, so many audiobooks all the time, always. Just like constantly, like 30 audiobooks ready for me to read. And every minute of every day, I'm like reading an audiobook, and it's just completely boosted my performance. I've gotten to 25 books in this year, which I know isn't that great, but it, it beat my goal, which is surprising. But I did it, basically all of it in like the last four months. That's the weird thing. If I can keep up the space, I'll be like doing 50, 60 books next year. It's, it's incredible. So audiobooks are fantastic. If you have any audiobook recommendations, I would love to hear it down in the comments. This year, I have read pretty much all of Dresden. I think I've only got three more books left in the Dresden Files, and then I can do like a series review. I can do a bunch of stuff involving Dresden Files. It'll be fantastic. Other than that, I've also read the entirety of Mistborn Era 1. I, I will make several videos about that, hopefully. <laughs> all these ideas that I want to make. I've also read the entirety of The Gentleman Bastards that's come out, and I've been making this video, which should be like a great big video about it. This is my main priority right now. 
And so all these things combined, it's pretty, it's, I think it's, I have a pretty good like hefty bit of videos. I've also got like a one hour video about me talking to a friend about Sanderson, you know, classic, classic nervous reviews, hatred. So I think I can make that and put it up soon because it's not too much editing. I'm not going to mess with it too much. It'll look really bad, but I think the ideas are all that matter in this one. And so otherwise going forward, I'm really excited to finish, like finish Dresden Files this year. I'm really excited to keep reading Malazan. I've started Malazan. It's, it's going really well. I'm hoping to read one or two more books this year. I'm hoping to, I'm, I'm, this is, this is like a little bit of high hopes. I'm hoping to finish a Game of Thrones, that series this year. I'm hoping to finish Mistborn Era 2. Um, the reason I say all these things is because I, I have access to audiobooks now, which is just wonderful. I don't have to pay for every audiobook because the library has them. It's just it's so, it's just so convenient. And then on top of that, I can't wait to read more and more nonfiction, which I'm not going to publish videos about, but it, it helps me like, it helps keep me in line because I have way too many videos to make, but not enough like weeks to make them in, right? So I can just read these books and not have to worry about making videos about them. It, it's going to be extremely convenient. And that's for the final comment. Uh, I should be hitting a thousand subscribers next month or the month after that, some, at some point in the future. Somehow people are still subscribing to me, even my absence. So that's really odd, but uh, appreciate it. And so that's the end of all the comments I have about this channel. I wonder why you watched this far. Hmm. Well, uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you guys have a happy new year. I hope you all have a wonderful year. I hope that the last year was a wonderful year. You know, COVID ended, so congratulations. And going forward, a lot of people I know talk about 2023 being their redemption arc. And for all intents and purposes, I hope that that is what it is for you. So thank you for all the support. Thank you for the support going forward. Thank you for all the comments, likes, and all of the uh, things that you've said about my channel. And thank you at the end of the day for watching my videos because what else could a man want? That's why I create these videos. That's why I spent so much time reading books. That's why I spent so much time editing. That's why I spent so much time just like locked away in my room trying to get done at this book before the week is over so that I can put up a review this week and maybe it'll be like somewhat interesting to some other people. Thank you for finding my take on these very, very famous books, at least somewhat interesting. And I hope you have a nice year. Goodbye.